Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Instructor Corn Shell. Now, the past couple of lessons we've gone over the typeset dash capital L command, where the capital L stands for left. So one would guess that if there's a typeset dash capital L for left, then there's also going to be a typeset dash capital R for right. And there is, and that's what we're going over today. Here's our program name, and it goes over typeset dash capital R. And here is how we would define a variable using the typeset dash capital R command. Typeset dash capital R, 5, and our variable name is right. Now what this means is that this variable, right, is always going to be five characters wide, and when you try to put something into it that's more than five characters, corn shell will take the five characters on the right hand side. That's what the dash capital R stands for. And anytime you try to print something out, it's going to write justify the output. Now, this is useful if you're trying to print out money, for example, or numbers in general. That way, all the ones line up, all the ten columns line up, all the hundred columns line up, so forth and so on. So, we've just defined our variable right. It's always five characters wide, and anytime we try to put something into it, it reads the five characters on the right. And whenever you try to print it out, it always right justifies the output. So let's put in a single digit, number 8, into the variable right. And let's print it out. Let's print the contents of the variable out. So this just says, hey, we're putting the number 8 into our variable right. Now we're printing it out. We're printing out the contents of the variable right. And as you notice, I put those little colons in front and in back to show you exactly how large the contents of this variable are. Underneath it, I just printed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to represent columns. So you can see that this is five columns wide right here. And then we print a blank line. Let's run this program and look at the output of these four print statements. Now here's our section of output where we took the number 8 and put it into our variable right. And this was right here when we printed out the contents of the variable right. And as you can see, the contents are right justified. These two colons right here, they said that these are the boundaries for our contents of the variable right. Anything inside of the two colons is what was actually inside of our variable right. And as you can see, four spaces in front and the variable 8. So it did right justify the output. And underneath we just printed our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which were our colon excuse me, our column markers, just to show that this variable did in fact take up five spaces, five columns. Now next, we try to put into our variable right something that's 10 characters wide. So we try to put it in, and because this was created with a dash capital R5, in theory, it should only take the five characters on the right-hand side, and we hope it does when we run this. So here's just our print statement saying, hey, we try to take and put 10 characters wide into our variable right, and then we print out the contents of our variable right, and once again, we have those colons in front and in back of our variable, just to show 
where the exact contents of the variable write begin and end. And underneath, we just print out some column markers, once again, and a blank line for white space so it makes the output easier to read. Let's take a look at this section of code. And like I said, hopefully it should take the five characters on the right. Here's our code that we've run. We were trying to assign 10 characters wide into our variable right, and then we printed out the contents of the variable right, and as you can see, it did take up only five characters wide, and it took the five characters from the right-hand side. So that's good. And lastly, what we want to look at is this right here. Now, what we're doing right here is we are saying, hey, we're going to assign two blank spaces, a number eight, and then a blank space afterwards. Now, as you may remember, when we used the left justification, the typeset dash capital L, leading spaces were ignored. Now, because we're using a typeset dash capital R, you would guess that the spaces on the right-hand side would be ignored. That's what I hope happens when we print out the contents of the variable right. So this is what we're putting in to our variable right. And I put the colon markers here just so you can see that we were trying to put in spaces in front and a space behind the number 8 into our variable right. And our assumption is that it's going to ignore this space, take the 8, and write justify it. So when we print out the contents of the variable right, it should be colon, four spaces, and 8 and then another colon, because it should strip off this trailing space. So we're going to print the contents of the variable right, surrounded by colons again, just to let us know where the contents begin and end. And underneath it, we have our column markers here, and another blank line for white space to make it easier to read. Let's take a look at the output from this. So here we are trying to assign space, space, eight, space to our variable right. And what gets put into it? Well, as you can see, it did in fact strip off the trailing eight, excuse me, the trailing space. And as you can see, it is exactly five characters wide, five columns wide and the 8 is right justified. So once again, when you try to put in, excuse me, when you define a variable with typeset dash capital R, five variable name, in this case we're using five characters wide, whatever you put into it will get right justified. The variable itself will always be five characters wide. If you try to put in more than five characters into the variable, it will take the five on the right and ignore the leading ones. And if you try to put in spaces at the right-hand side, it's going to ignore those and capture the actual information and write justify that information. And once again, Using the typeset dash capital R is a good way to print out numbers, especially if it's money. That way, all your dollars and cents columns line up.